Hi guys, it's attorney Terry S. Heron, your divorce and family law attorney here in the state of Georgia and we practice here in Fulton and surrounding areas. And today I want to talk to you about separation. So of course this is for my divorce people. Um, I always get this question, I always get this being a big fear of people who are wanting to separate. And the number one question I get when it comes to separation is, will I be charged? Or will my wife or my husband say that I abandoned the family if I move out of the house? Listen, sometimes it's best for you to move out of the house because listen, I do divorces and we do TPOs. And if you don't know what a TPO is, it's a temporary protective order. And basically that means you stayed in the house too long. I mean, that's not what it really means, but listen, a TPO is a restraining order. So a lot of times what's happening is we have people that are staying in a house um, a lot longer than they need to be staying in the house together, okay? And then you got these attitudes going, you have where you've already talked about divorce, you're not getting along with this person, and you wanna stay in the house because you assume that if you move out of the house, that they're gonna say you abandoned the family. No, it's just simply called separation, people. That's what it is. A lot of times it's just separation. And a lot of times the consequences to you not separating in a timely manner from the person that you are like, that's causing you hell or you may be causing hell too, is the fact that, hey, one night the tempers are going and the attitudes are going and it's just in the air. And then all of a sudden somebody says the wrong thing. The other person says the wrong thing and you guys are tussling. This is not limited to what you may consider people who would normally do this, doctors, lawyers, like all kinds of people. I don't care who it is. I've had like the top of the top the, and, and there is no bottom according to me, but uh, I've had all kinds of people from all walks of life deal with this. And the consequences you will have is you could end up with a simple battery against you, which is a misdemeanor, but that's still a crime. You know, you don't want that as part of your record. And then number two, you know, you could have a protective order against you. And I mean, that's not a good look either. You know, a protective order saying that you have to stay away from this person for a 12 month period, not a good look, not a good look whatsoever. And then thirdly, I mean, you really just kind of ruin your chances. I shouldn't say ruin your chances. You 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 allow the other person to paint a narrative about you and it could be an isolated event. But I'm telling you that spouse is gonna come in and say, he's beat me all throughout the marriage or she's beat me all throughout the marriage. And that, you know, it could be like nowhere near the truth. But you give them that opportunity to open up that narrative if they get that protective order against you or if there is a simple battery charge or if the police are coming out and and you know writing these reports saying hey you know this is what's going on this is what this person is reporting so no 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 it is not a bad thing to leave the house a lot of times it is best for you to leave the house okay it's not called abandonment some of you guys should leave okay now, if you're gonna be leaving the house, make sure you go ahead and file for divorce, especially if you have children, because here's the problem. And it shouldn't be a problem because you guys are grown and you guys shouldn't be putting your children through this, but there's like a tug of war with these kids where you're going back and forth, back and forth, because at this point, there is no one that has custody of the children. You guys are married. A judge hadn't said who has custody as of yet. So you want to get with a divorce attorney. You want to right away ask for a temporary hearing so a judge can determine in the meantime, who's going to have primary custody and what the other person's parenting time is going to be, okay? But no, it is not abandoning the home. There is a such thing as abandonment, but that's not it. So stop being afraid to separate if you need to separate because sometimes, and what's happening is, you guys are opening the door for much bigger problems than just abandonment, okay? So I'm attorney Terry S. Heron. As always, leave your comments, leave your questions, um, because a lot of times when you ask these questions, I answer them in subsequent videos, okay? So leave your comments, leave your questions, leave your tips for people if you've been through this process. And not only that, share this video because somebody needs to hear this. Like the word, somebody needs to hear this video. <laughs> All right, have a great day.